Bloodborne is rated Mature 17 Plus by the ESRB for blood and gore and violence. This Let's Play is directed at an adult audience and will feature adult language and discussion of the subject material. Viewer discretion is advised. Yes, they came back. Hello there, gamers. I am the Orange Ranger, and welcome to another episode of Bloodborne on Orange Ranger Plays. Last time, we made our way through the old part of Yarnum, dealing with a hunter who had apparently decided to just kind of oversee the abandoned city that was entirely full of beasts with a Gatling gun to their assistance. We took care of them and we made our way through the area and have arrived here where something seems to be waiting for us. Fair warning, although I said this about the last time I fought Amelia, this could be difficult. I am going to shoot my gun for some reason. I am going to equip fire paper and molotovs in my items. I am going to use a fire paper and let's go! Because there's somebody who's looking forward to meeting us. Gamers, may I introduce you to the Blood Starved Beast. See there, fire is doing a significant amount of damage. I just remembered something else I should have put on my inventory, and I didn't, and I'm a little upset. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Hits very hard. Not having nearly the time I thought I would with this one. Oh, you're making a lot of noises that I'm not approving of. And you put yourself in a corner, which is something else I don't approve of. I would really like you to come back out. Oh, 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 okay, I'm getting slowly poisoned, but I also killed it. I kind of can't believe that happened. Oh, and look, I got the Pathumaru, Pathumaru, Pathumaru chalice. Uh, you remember, they talked about chalices. Um, I just one shot the Blood Starved Beast. <laughs> um, in the past, I have had a lot of difficulty with that fight. Uh, again, fire is a good key. Um, the item I forgot to put on my um, quick select, as you might have figured out, was antidotes because they can poison you with their attacks. But, um, yeah, that happened. <laughs> um, I kind of tore ass through old Yarnum. Um... Feel free to have a look around here. Pick up the antidotes that are back here. By the way, if you don't have any and you come to fight them, you can, you know, you can run back here right away, so you might want to do that. But you may notice, yes, this is a dead end. The, um, it just ends on a lantern. And there's nowhere else for you to go. light that lamp and head back to the hunter's dream. Welcome home. What is it? Very well. Level me up. One, two, three. only two. <sighs> you know what? Let's get strength into the 20s. Hunter's 
just have told me about, about Why is this the only thing you're saying? Maybe she doesn't, um, change words until, uh, the next chapter. I'm not so sure about that. Repair my saw spear. Can I fortify it? No, I need five twin bloodstone shards. Uh, blood gem uh, fortification might be a thing because we have a lot more now. So just to explain here, um, here, you know, when you go to this, you're dealing with the first gem. And then if you press right on the D-pad, you're dealing with blood gem imprint two. And the effects of blood gem imprint one are on the top on the right there. And then the effects of two you see change on the bottom. And the one with the little red mark is the one you currently have equipped. And it will show you what equipping would do. You see that red 33 next to attack? That means if I equip that gemstone, that my attack will go down from 43 to 33. Okay, so you basically just go through and look for blue numbers. And I don't see any. Uh... Okay, so then we head over this way. And none there either. Can see if any of these will improve the axe. Basically, exchange of physical, like, improving physical for decreasing blunt. Not really anything worth worrying about there. Okay. Now I'm going to answer the question I asked earlier, which is, can you sell at the Insight Shop? No. Purchase items or fuck off. Um, I want to see. We're up to 14 Insight, and I have some um, um, Madman's Knowledge. So I just want to see, like... So, of course, here you can buy bloodstone shards, but, you know, of course not twin bloodstone shards. That would make things too easy. Attire. Mm, I don't think any of that is really all that much better. Oh, you can buy chalices here probably at some point. You figure if there's a menu item for it, you'll be able to buy it there eventually. Hmm. Do I want to show you all a chalice? You know what? I have it. Sure. So, beating the Blood Starved Beast, I got um, the Pathumaru Chalice. And I have Ritual Blood. So, I am able to do a chalice dungeon. As a reminder, Chalice Dungeons are uh, randomly generated um, kind of roguelike areas of Bloodborne uh, that give you opportunities to uh, get Echoes and, you know, to level up and get stronger without pushing your way through the game itself. Like if there's an area where you get stuck, a boss that you can't beat, you know, instead of grinding through the past area and getting bored, you can come generate a chalice dungeon and that'll give you something new that you can see and the opportunity to level up. And then again, the other chalices are hid hidden in them and you can make harder dungeons and more of a benefit. Okay, so the makeshift altar here. A short ritual root chalice is required. Uh, first ritual altar. Use the ritual altar. Oh, okay, so um, I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop that just to go back here. A short one. This is this makes little short tiny ones. You come here, first ritual altar, and do a chalice ritual. I have the Pithumuru chalice. And I have uh, two Ritual Bloods, which, imagine this, you need two to conduct this ritual. We are going to conduct the ritual, which will consume the materials. The chalice, I don't believe, is consumed. The ritual is finished, and a chalice rests upon the altar. 
you may now explore the dungeon. You are now free to move about the dungeon. Chamber of the Seal. Wooden Shield, don't ever use that, by the way. Um, wooden Shield, you can use it and have like a blocking sort of idea, but it doesn't, I think you still like take some damage and just generally everybody says, it's not good to use that thing. You don't want to do it. Do, 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 do. All right. That, I don't know why that was a song, but there we go. By the by, <laughs> from, from my experiences here, you start out here in this first room and you're like, okay, well, this is my beginning lantern. I don't need to worry about light that. <laughs> Obviously, you're not returning to the dream, but you want to light that. Okay. Got a door. Good. All right. Oh, another lamp. Light that one. Or you'll end up back at the first one. Congratulations, you walked through several doors. Okay. Always take time out to explore your surroundings and see what you're dealing with. Rodents of unusual size. If we had first encountered them here, you could genuinely say that you didn't think they existed. Uh, because... This, as far as you know, is not even actually real. Okay. There's another ladder over there, but I don't see any reason to not clear out the floor. There's big guys over here. Oh! Oh! That was rude. You want to... Oh! You want to throw Molotovs at me. By the way, don't... I'll... Okay. Let me take care of this dude and I'll explain that in a second. Excuse me. Rude. And you have a knife. <laughs> okay. It's just easier to see when you're down there. Have you ever been in a parking lot where it's rained and seen water with like a purpley green glisteny over it by the way yeah his interesting his what does it it doesn't ragdoll it's just a shadow i've never seen that before that's interesting okay anyway water in a parking lot with a purpley sheen that means that water has oil in it right same here and if Mr. Molotov up there had thrown one of those firebombs into this and um, I was in it, the entire thing, including me, would have caught fire. Oh, you have a sword and you're big and I'm scared. I'm okay. I am officially already frightened because you're making sounds. And I'm not fond of them, and I don't like either of you. Two blood vials. Alright. Pretty sure that's it for the bottom floor here. There was a ladder back over there. I just gestured with my head before I remembered that absolutely none of you can see me. There's a um, another ladder back that way. But... We've got swinging axes on a bridge here, so let's see what that's all about. Not a lot of danger. You can kind of, like, determine right up to where you're at and then just, you know, don't. Um, that's rude. Oh, shoot. And, yeah. What the fuck was that? Now, I got more molly tops. That dude was throwing poison darts at me. You 
I think that's a Bagman. I talk well, not that Bagman. Maybe. Um, we have to go back and see if they're there. By the way, I'm not fond. Of, and he disappeared. Okay, that was the thing I saw. Um, but when that Bagman screams, you want to deal with them before uh, that scream completes. So some kind of spectral enemies are being sent after me, but they they are friendly fire to the axes. So that jerk. You know what? You know what? Let me. If you can see me, that means I can see you. All right. We'll deal with that another time. By the way, can't help but notice that um these red things. Which are giving me minimal amounts of echoes every so often. Um, seem to be generating over and over and over. And we've got a Rouse. Who is now a Douse. <laughs> a dead of unusual size? A Drouse. A dead rodent of unusual size. I will tell you, if you let these Rouses gang up on you and you're not ready for that, it can ruin your day. Shoot, shoot, shoot! I did not realize how low I was on health. They almost ruined my day. Okay. I don't think that's all of them, by the way. But in here, we have Quicksilver Bullets. We have Shining Coins. We have Quicksilver Bullets. <laughs> we have Shining Coins. <laughs> we have Blood Vials. Molotov Cocktail. Um... And... It a wall because that's it this was a room full of rewards and rats <laughs> we killed the rewards and collected the rats strike that reverse it and we continue there was a tunnel right next to this one nice try this, I believe, leads me, yes, back out to the main room. And what that will do is allow me to go back up this ladder. The dude that was uh, throwing the um, darts is gone. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, this time... Okay, he fell. Alright, I made it through. <sighs> I hated you enough that I made it through th those blades and still jumped down to kill you, knowing I'd have to go all the way back and do this all again. Do, do, do. Something? Did you see that? Oh, it's actually hitting those cages. That's weird. I guess that's how they were executed. Oh, I wonder if Lady with the Bell has anything to do with the red things that are trying to end my life situation. Well, guess what? I still don't like you! And you're dead. And you gave me bullets, which I don't really care about. Okay. Hi! Oh, you do poison hits. Oh, you're large! Oh, you're large! Oh, you're large! I don't like dealing with large without prior time. And you're fast. Bad combination. Alright, what you got for me? Tell me what you got for me. 
You take some several hits. Not unmanageable, though. I saw, I saw the way he was swinging. I was like, you're going to swing more than once. I, how am I not dead? How am I not complaining? I am asking. No, 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 no. I need to heal. I'm not dealing with you, whoever you are. You're faster, so come on. They're a bad combination. A lot of fire. And I'm dead. All right, we're back in the area where we were. I've retrieved my blood echoes, and um, there's a dude up there throwing poison dartsies at me, which is not really a friendly thing to do. I kind of want to deal with the smaller things before dealing with the bigger thing, considering that's how I got jumped last time. Like, for example... You, although now I've got his attention. And he's a lot faster than you think. Uh, where, where? better strategy for dealing with him. First, it involves not getting hit when you die. A second involves apparently not hitting him at all. <laughs> the strategy I was coming up with was instead of trying to do the full combo, get like three and four hits in, and then um, back off. Because he's still going to be able to swing back at you. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, there's still something here alive. There you are. There's no need to hide. Be true to who you are. Be bold about your chances of defeating me. Which are very small. Okay. You had something for me. A poison knife, how appropriate. Okay, that brings you to a lever back here. We're going to operate that device. And unlocked, somewhere, a door to the old labyrinth has opened. Somewhere around here. Oh, I know exactly where it is. Or at least I have a generally good idea of where it is because there's one area that we haven't explored. That was that first ladder up that I didn't take. Right over here. If there's going to be a hidden door. 
It's gonna be here. It's gonna be here. How is this 28 minutes already? There's a little bit of fast forwarding involved. Okay. And that, my friends, was just the first level. Oh, and now there's a boss. <sighs> We're fighting a boss who swings very hard and has very sharp weapon. Kind of reminds me of like a cathedral giant. Except with a little bit more range. I like sometimes the heal command is not definitive enough. I had a feeling something it was like it got mad. It 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 and I was like, okay, you're gonna do something. Ow! Your swords are very long and like it. So you're just gonna keep like attacking me and Oh, it's making it's it's bleeding a lot. Oh, 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 oh. That may have been a stagger. Okay, so here's a double-edged sword. I'm trying to build my stamina back up. But you know what uses stamina? Dodging. Got him. Got him, got him, got him, got him. I didn't even bother to heal until then. Prey slaughtered. An adept blood gemstone three and two bloodstone shards. Okay, I'm trying. I'm, okay, there's... <laughs> which one of these doors is... Oh, well, there's a lamp right here, so... Now, excuse me. That was level one. Now there's an elevator. Let's see which one's gonna come. Okay, so stand behind it. Remember, send it back. Layer, not level, layer two. I'm thinking about when I'm gonna end this. Because this could be a significant while. Touch the lamp, so you'll come back here. Similar kind of layout, another like bottom floor. A door with purple lights, locked by a device. So that's very likely gonna be the door we're looking for. Okay, that, w okay. Well, that's interesting. Have you considered the fact that that's interesting? You know what else is interesting? I only have one blood vial left. <laughs> and um, nothing has really served to renew them. By the way, those enemies were red. That means they're being generated by a bell ringer somewhere. I'm sorry somebody put you in a coffin even though you weren't dead, but I mean, that it wasn't me. A little presumptuous of you to attack me, don't you think? Like, ask your friends Steve and Billy here. They'll tell you. You were always a bit presumptuous, um, zombie Dave. A little peek behind the curtain. I am actually uh, significantly hungry right now. But there's work to be done. Oh, I thought I saw a staircase. I was mistake. Oh, look, it's a trap. That's a trap. Oh, hi. I destroyed it. Uh, but yeah, there is a button. And if I'd stood on that button right in front of them, um, it would have fired and done me a harm damaged. Okay, so that didn't lead to anything. Hmm. 
It's just funny how this is all, like, really optional. And, but, but, like, I have to think about ending an episode and starting another in this optional area. I will say... Can I destroy that? Yes, I can. And that ends the smoke? Yes, it does. Good, I'm glad. Um... From this point forward, if I ever choose to do um, Chalice Dungeons, I will very likely do them off screen. Uh, just because it is a little disruptive to the flow of the basic game. Oh, 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 Again, I know. Oh, 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 oh. Last blood vial. Tell you all what. Um, if I finish this layer or die first, probably die first, seeing as I can no longer heal, um, I will end the episode and we will go from there. Progress is saved via the lanterns. Uh, it works the same way as the primary transportation system, where um, you can go back. Like, I can go to a lamp, go to the Hunter's Dream, and then head back to the Chalice Tombstone and teleport to the area that I most recently was, so to speak. Oh, I don't like having to deal with you with no uh, blood vials. And that's why. So that's going to do it for another episode of Bloodborne on Orange Ranger Plays. Thank you, Heroes, so much as always for watching. In the comments below, let me know about your first experience with a Chalice Dungeon. Did you breeze right through it, or was it difficult? Let me know in the comments below. While you're down there, smack that thumbs up button to let me know that you enjoyed this video. Uh, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe. I'm trying very hard to get to... Uh, first of all, 100 subscribers. Monetization is the main goal, uh, which, just to give it away, I haven't mentioned it up to this point, but actually is 1,000 subscribers. So we're a ways away from that. But if I can get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to do a very interesting video. Why is it going to be interesting? I will tell you when I figure out what I'm going to do in that video. But um, yes, please subscribe. Check me out on social media, Orange RNGR Plays on Twitter, Orange underscore Ranger underscore Plays on Twitch, Orange Ranger fan page on Facebook. And if you'd like to give any financial support to the channel, please consider checking me out on Patreon or Coffee at Orange Ranger Videos, as well as Teespring for Orange Ranger Videos merchandise with Orange Ranger Plays merchandise yet to come. Until next time, gamers, may the power of the, tri of the Triforce... Wow. I will say I just started working on an additional link to the past video. I won't mention what that is just yet, but I guess that put the Triforce back in my mind. May the power of the blood protect you.